Welcome to an Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent, Ronda Review. Ronda released on Global Back on August 30th, 2023, and is part of the Travelers of Memories game pool. He was one of the first warrior characters to have sword skill that also affects an element, and is currently rated as a 7.88 within the global variant of the game. His passives include a 15% sword damage up, as well as an automatic HP recovery with less than 50% HP. His ultimate technique, Elfric's Judgment, includes a sword damage potency of 600 and it exploits light weakness. This ultimate also provides Rondo with a unique buff of raising his BP recovery amounts by 3 during the next 4 turns. I would suggest upgrading this ultimate to level 10 after A1. Rondo is not just a damage dealer, as he does have the ability to cast buffs with Faith's Empowerment and Sacred Flame's Aura, but where Rondo does shine is his ability to hit the damage cap pretty easily. By using Sacred Charge at max boost, Rondo is able to put out massive amounts of damage due to the guaranteed critical hit. He also has the very good shield shaving skills in Holy Smite and Holy Impulse where the former hits 4-4 attacks and the latter 5 attacks to all foes at max boost. His A4 accessory, Crest of Ravus, does provide a sword damage dealt 15% rise. It also raises the amount of BP gain for the first 3 turns of battle. Although, I would suggest not spending rubies and awakening stone shards to acquire this accessory. Overall I have liked Rondo as a party member for Sword and even Light Teams. I would suggest pulling on Rondo if you have an excess of rubies, beyond the pity amount needed for the character you are saving for. However, I would only awaken Rondo to A1. Well I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also feel free to provide a comment with your thoughts on Rondo. Thank you again and we'll see you next time. But before I stop the video here, is some recent footage I captured using Rondo's ultimate technique Elfric's Judgment.